What's up, YouTube? Xandar here. And as they say, all good things must come to an end. Forged in Glory is the end to our second <laughs> journey into the Nyx. It's our plane set. This adventure has been epic. One might call it a journey. Possibly into the Nyx. Forged in Glory. It's all about Spartans and chariots and griffins and all sorts of great things. Will we see a godsend? Will we see an Elspeth? What will we see in this last box to end this epic journey? Let me know in the comments below. If you've been on both journeys with us, let me know which journey you felt like is more epic. But, import but importantly, do not do that until we know how this journey ends. Our die for the set? Pretty cool. We've seen it a couple times. For anybody that's new, though, they want to check it out. There's one number on here. I think it's three. Yeah, look at three. Three is just crazy. It's a dagger. We have our preceded pack. That's always an alternate art card. Dawnbringer Charioteers in this example. And potentially another rare or mythic. Our rare card is Sphere of the General. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has first strike. There's a code on the back of those. I'm going to try to use them and see what happens. I think it's long gone. As always, you get one Born of the Gods, two Theros, and two Journey into Nyx. So this set's a little more spread out than um, Dragons of Tarkir, per se. Let's go right into our preceded pack and see what we can make happen. The Dawnbringer Charioteers is a 4-mana, 2-4, Flying and Lifelink. They have Heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Dawnbringer's Chariots, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Charioteers. And our next rare or mythic for the Seated Pack is a Decide. Two mana cost, instant, exile target enchantment. If the exiled card is a god card, search its controller's graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards of the same number as with the same name as that card and exile them, then that player shuffles his or her library. It is quite the god killer. Our uncommon is Interpret the Signs, Reprisal, Brain Maggot, and I think those are almost the exact same. We're going to make sure those are all commons, which they are. And we're going to go straight into our Theros packs. I feel like Journey 1 was more epic, but... We have yet to see the end, and we already have a premium uncommon back there. Oopsie daisies. Spoiled it again. Elod's a mystery. Magma Jet. Our last uncommon's a favorite hoplite, and our rare is an abhorrent overlord. Seven mana, six six with flying. When the overlord enters the battlefield, put a number of one one black harpy creature tokens with flying onto the battlefield equal to the number of your devotion to black. Blah. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. That's kind of interesting. And our uncommon is a phalanx leader. Two mana for a 1-1 one, one creature human. He has heroic. Whenever you cast a spell, he gets a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Ooh, the 2014 expansion featuring sealed play. Are you guys excited? I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I need to open a box of 2015, for that matter. I think I've opened a lot of stuff now, except for 2015. It's hard to buy stuff when everything else is coming out here soon. We've got a lot of good sets coming out in the, by the end of the year. Gainsay is our first uncommon. Stone Shock Giant. Prowler's Helm. Enter. Oh my goodness, Well, Look at that. Journey number two. What an end. <laughs> what an end! This journey, wow! I know, it, oh my goodness, guys. We got both of the big, big planeswalkers in this journey. It started off with uh, Bismack, I think is his name. Uh, and it ends with Elspeth. Oh, man, I love this card, too. I love the artwork on this card. I love this character. Six mana, four loyalty. Plus one, put three one one white soldier creature tokens onto the battlefield. Minus three, destroy all creatures to power four or greater. And minus seven, when you get an emblem, uh, creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and have flying. You know, another reason I love seeing this in here, 
these pre-release boxes only cost me about 10 or 11 bucks and she just pretty much pays for the whole thing oh she's beautiful and another premium rare celestial archon five mana for a four four seven mana bestow cost flying and first strike enchanted creature gets plus four plus four and has flying and first strike and look at that These adventures, they call for a lot of sleeves. Foil rare. That'll get one too. Why not? But. Whew. Oh, man. The excitement. All right. Born of the Gods. Well, like I said, I hope you guys didn't leave that comment too early because you would have just had to eat your own words. But it had to eat your own words, let me tell you. I don't think there was anything else in that first journey that makes up for that i mean there was a lot of lands don't get me wrong there was a lot of premium or not premium lands but uh rare lands in there but airy worshippers are first uncommon pinnacle of rage siren of the silent song cool artwork in our rare mythic we've seen her hero of lenia tower one mana one one heroic whenever you cast a spell that targets the lenia tower you may pay x if you do put x plus one plus one counters on the hero. Oh, there's a cat soldier. He he looks like someone that had vigilance. Mini purrs, mini lives. First pack of journey into Nyx. First uncommon is a crystalline N Nautilus. Riddle of lightning. And an agent of Erebos. And extinguish all hope again is our rare six mana sorcery. Destroy all non enchantment creatures. And a information card. Once again, guys, hit that subscribe button if you keep wanting to see videos like this. Hit that like button down below. Most importantly, though, I do want comments from you guys. I want comments. Why is it curved? I want comments of which journey you enjoyed better from journey one or journey two and why. It's not always about the money. It's not always about the value. Sometimes there's certain cards you like to see. Um, who knows? Maybe I narrated one better than the other. I, I definitely got into the first series a little more. I wasn't planning on doing this series, but man, I'm glad I did there at the end. Wow, this bend is driving me nuts. Our first uncommon, Tormented Thoughts. Morgus, or Mogus Warhound. Our last uncommon is a Forgeborn Orids. And guys, our last rare possibly mythic maybe even premium after it hard from journey to the end of journeys for pre-release no more journey of nick's pre-release i promise guys no more journey of the nick's pre-release i can't promise you that about theros or gods born of the gods but this is the end of our journey how will it end a decide two mana instant exile target enchantment if, if exiled cards a god card, search its controller's graveyard, hand, and library, or any number of cards, same name. I'm pretty sure we already saw this before. It kills a god, every last one of them, all 20 of well, four of them. You know, it shuffles his or her library. It's the god killer. Elspeth? Look at El... No, is that Elspeth? I think it is. I don't know what weapon she's using there, but... Planes and a last card. We'll go over the last, we'll go over the rares for this last box, guys. Once again, I cannot stress enough. Leave me a comment if you enjoyed these journeys so I can keep doing them. A decide, extinguish all hope, hero of Lenia Tower, Elspeth, Sun's Champion, Celestial Archon Premium, Archon. I don't know why I always say Archon. Phalanx Leader, Abhorrent Overlord, a decide. And that premium Dawnbringer Charioteers. Guys, thanks again. I really appreciate you watching these journeys. I'm glad you're following me on them. Uh, stay tuned. Where every adventure ends, another one begins. Thanks for watching.